it soon became clear that the Nazis had a secret space program at Peenemunde and Nordhausen. The Hanabu craft utilized alternative propulsion systems such as grill power, possibly back engineered from recovered crashed flying saucers. Prescott Bush was the grandfather of today's George W. Bush. Whilst working with the Bank of America and the Jewish Warburg brothers in Wall Street, Prescott Bush helped arrange vast loans to the Third Reich. The Third Reich space scientists used Jewish prisoners as slaves to build gigantic underground bases and manufacture the V-2 rocket, which would terrorize Europe during 1944 and 1945. At Nordhausen and other sites in Germany and Austria, Werner von Braun and his team of Nazi SS engineers built vast laboratories and rocket factories. The interior of an entire mountain was excavated to accommodate a secret space facility which was no less than one million square feet. It was here at Nordhausen, in top secret underground bases, that a huge number of experimental rocket ships and circular flying disks were developed. prototype V-7 craft was powered by engines manufactured by BMW. The V-7 used 12 BMW 028 engines, which were powered with helium. Radical fuselage shapes were developed, which would later lead to the emergence of stealth aircraft and the cruise missile. team closely studied photographs of UFOs which had been photographed in Germany, Austria, Switzerland and Russia.
बर Tired, Mama. These are my Mama flying objects inspired the development of Nazi flying discs. After World War II, the underground base at Nordhausen was rebuilt in the Mojave Desert, a place we now know as Area 51. <laughs> Example of one of the many objects seen regularly in Las Vegas. A uh, very bright object just uh, basically hovering over Las Vegas uh, at 30 p.m. The uh, cylindrical uh, object, the craft, we believe it could be some kind of observation. Uh, the volume of evidence is that the space program that appears on the television news and has done these last few decades is actually only there as a, um, a movie to um, hide the real program, um, which is... Um, knowledge that people uh, in general never hear is passed on to the chosen ones that uh, are chosen to have this information and to need it for generations. Uh, the agenda for centralized control and all that stuff. Um, and then there's the movie, which is there to hide all that. And the movie is the official version of events that pulled out of the television. So we have all covered for it to hide what's really going on, not just in terms of space program, but in every area of our lives. I mean, what is the more classic and obvious cover story than weapons of mass destruction, we've got to go and get them? And obviously, clearly, you know, we see it as a cover story now, we've got a brain and see it was before. I've said in my latest book, uh, uh, Perish of the Time, that uh, we're looking at the fourth right. And I've put into that bracket or a continuation of the third, which never ended. People have no idea in general population of what it tells them of the fundamental connections between the Nazis. And people not think, oh yeah, the Nazis are gone and the American administration. First of all, uh, the Nazis were funded uh, out of Britain and America. Uh, why is it that they were taking their wages up? 